Yeah, I'd say this is quite the impressive image. Seeing all these rocks completely frozen in time, as it were. Not floating, necessarily not falling either. And I don't know if you can necessarily see, but there is a statue, a couple of them in the background, being lit up. And so I can't really see them from this far because the fog has rolled in, but... Hopefully we'll get the chance to see these statues up close and personal, but that's not the only reason why we're here. We're here on business. So with that in mind, greetings people of the world. Matthew back with you here at Novara Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward. So last time we were able to successfully complete our climb to the summit of Somal. And now that we've made it this far, we've come into an entirely new land and here in, as part of Dravania, that's high above the clouds, and so we've arrived here at the Churning Mists, and so this is the next destination for us here as we continue to hopefully get ourselves an audience with Race Vulgar the Dragon. So, let's make sure that we can continue on our way in the hopes that we can achieve just that. So let's go over here and speak with Alpha Node. And the reluctant pairing of a sail and a steady hen. <laughs> yeah, these two have certainly provided some amusing banter over the time that we've been going along this journey. So, let's speak with Alpha Node to take on our next level 53 challenge entitled Beyond the Clouds. Alpha Node ponders the means by which you might find Race Valgar. But isn't that a sail's responsibility? Now that we've scaled the mountain, there remains the problem of finding Race Valgar himself. Yeah, I mean, Ice Heart should know about this. Oh, hey, there's a Moogle here. Yeah, it's right behind you. And this one's that pom pom actually glows pink, not yellow. And apparently, this is a creature that she isn't even familiar with. Perhaps we should explain it to her. Hello there. Oh, they're doing the King Moogle-Mog music in the back! Well, Fire, do my eyes deceive me, or was that a Moogle? Yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw it too. It was my understanding that they only dwelled within the Twelve's Wood. I certainly ne never expected to see one of the churning mists. Unless there's problems going on in the Twelve's Wood that have been not brought to attention, because we haven't been there since this game started. In fact, we haven't even been there during the Heaven's Ward era at all. If the Moogle does live here, however, he may know where Race Falcon makes his lair. Quickly now, before we lose the creature completely. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Get a, get the light out. That means you two adults, too. <laughs> but yeah, it looks like we're going after a Moogle. But how would a new Moogle possibly know where Race Falcon could be up here in the Churning Mists? Well, you gotta admit that where this place is is certainly impressive. Lots of stuff that's lighting up. I mean, maybe these illuminated dandelions are supposed to represent the illuminated pom-poms that the Moogles have. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough, won't we? Alpha Note? Ah, oh, he's gone. Mathiah, we must widen our search. So, how far and how much are we gonna be searching? Search the Moogle at the designated locations. Um, Let's zoom in here, okay. So it looks like there's gonna be one over this direction. Oh, it's actually called Mog Home. Okay, maybe we should have seen this coming. This is not, they actually have an, a, a territory called Mog Home. Well, we know where um, the next destination is, but what's this etheric disturbance? The nearby air appears warped. You can sense that concealing you sense that concealing magics are at work. Okay. Well hopefully they don't prevent us from finding the Moogle. Hey there, Sail. So, let's see what we can find on here. I have heard tales of these Moogles, but tis the first time I've ever laid eyes on one. They are rather adorable, aren't they? Try fighting their king. <laughs> What? Why do you stare at me so? Can I not find a creature adorable? My heart is not truly made of ice. Yeah, she simply got the name by turning into Shiva. <laughs> yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. That, that's what we're trying to teach a Stenny in here, but as we've seen, 
Um, the Ishgardians have been proven to be easily fooled. And so now let's check where Estenian is standing. I see no evidence of this, Moogle of yours. Are you certain it wasn't a trick of the light? Mayhaps it was simply one of these strange plants shifting in the breeze. Well, I, I did kind of make that observation similar to that just a few moments ago. The last location of interest has to be where Alpha Node is going to be. If we find Alpha Node, odds are we're going to find this other um, designated spot to check for this Moogle. Well, he's staying over there, but I don't see the spot of interests. No, it's actually up here next to another etheric disturbance. How many of these things are there? And another brother dragoon. I feel honored. There is no sign of a Moogle in the area. Alright. Now that we are done being distracted by adorableness and cuteness. Alpha Node. I'm sure I glimpsed the Moogle fleeing this direction. Could he be concealing himself with magic? Well, that would explain the two etheric disturbance spots, and we know exactly where those are. Ah, oh, but wouldn't you know it, the next one's at 54. Ah. Well, I guess we know what that means. It's time for more side quests, as H.C. Bailey would put it. So, I guess we're done here for now. So, let's make our way back down to the bottom of the Dravanian Forelands. And we'll start doing side quests at Tailfeather. We got the time to do so, so let's start making some progress in this regard. Yeah, because we know we can only go so far. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why don't I take care of all the side quests all at once? Well, I'm, tr I'm trying to stay as close to the main story as possible. Like, I'm trying to keep things flowing along. Like, I, I don't want to see this um, being too overwhelmed by side quests. Because if it takes too long to get back to the main story, you guys could lose interest, and I don't want that to happen. So, since this is the first side quest we just happened to come upon, let's speak with Lupard to take on our first side quest here in the Dravanian Forelands. Starting with a level 52 challenge entitled, I Wanna Be the Hunter. Lupard is looking for someone to watch over a novice hunter, which is obviously his companion there, Quanta. Quanta. Well, if it isn't the famed Mathia everyone's been going on about, word travels fast and I can't this small. Say, could you lend me your ear for a bit? Yeah, just make sure you don't scare me too much with your mask. Thanks for keeping this lowly hunter company. Anyway, since you're new around here, I thought you might want to know about this place and its denizens. You see, the hunters of Tailfeather make their way by catching the wild chocobos wander around these forests and selling to the renowned Ishgardian trainers. You might think us hunters have the easy end of the deal, but you change your mind quick enough the first time a dragon breathes down your neck. Add to that all the other hungry beasts looking for an easy meal, and you'd be right to doubt the sanity of this whole camp. That's why most hunters in the Dravanian Forelands are either them that are just trying to escape the pitiful lives back home, or them that cra that they're crazy enough to get enjoyment from risking their necks every day. Of course, you can't forget those that are just here for a quick bucket full of gill, chasing the golden chocobo, so to speak. The promise of riches brings new blood from all over Aeolsia. I think I ain't that right, Quanta. You got that right! I'm here to bag myself the biggest chocobos Aeolsia has ever seen! Thing is, chocobo hunting is generally done in pairs, and Quanta here, as never having trapped an animal herself, is in need of a partner. I know you've got some experience hunting all manner of beasts, so I'm asking you to help her out until I find someone suitable. Alright. I can't thank you enough, Mathia. Quanta's got some ideas for her first hunt. Speak to her, and she'll tell you all about them. Alright, so I guess we're helping out more novices in terms of hunting. Did so in the Western Highlands too, now we're doing so in the Dravanian Forelands. Finally a partner! Now we can be real hunters! Let's not keep those birds waiting! This hunt will be simple. All we have to do is lure Chocobo out with these sky soul greens. There's only one problem. Wild Chocobos have a keen sense of smell and won't come near a trap if they catch even a whiff of a hunter's scent. But fret not, for I have a plan. Just the other day I came across some mushrooms whose reek I can still smell. 
if we can use them to hide our sins, those chocobos will be none the wiser. Let's hope you're right. I'll take care of arranging the Geisel Greens for the trap, and I need my partner, that's you, to go and pick that pungent fungus for me. It seems the hunters call the mushroom Chan Chandler's Wick, and about five or so should do the trick. Just head out east of Tailfeather for a bit, and use your nose to guide you the rest of the way. Five of them, huh? Alright. So it looks like they're all pretty much isolated in that one area, by the looks of it. Right, let's do this. Time to go take on some agricultural tasks. Boy, it's a bit of distance to run all the way out there. We'll stick to the paths for the most part. Oh, it looks like we got a fate over here. It's hard to tell who needs to be helped, the hunting hounds or the banished hunter. Well, the hunter is wasting no time in letting his arrows fly on me. Chandler's wicks, huh? <laughs> that, that's quite an interesting name for a mushroom. I'm guessing because it's a chan because a Chandler, I believe, is the proper term for a person who makes candles. Don't mind the fleas. Ignore the fleas. They're not worth your trouble, but the choke wild chocobo could be. Oh, they all down here? Alright. Down here it is. Alright, time to start picking. I may have been wrong that they're all um, down here, but by the looks of it, they grow at the base of trees, so coming down here does seem to have been a good idea. One around here at all, maybe... Nope. All right. One around here at all? Looking, looking... Nope. Okay, we didn't see any further down this way. It was just the two. Okay, so yeah, the rest are up top. Now the big question is, how do we get ourselves back up there? <laughs> well, I think I see a method. That is available to us. Um, is it though? Can we jump on this thing and use it as a bridge? Maybe? Uh, it's saying no. It's saying no, which means we gotta go all the way around. Or maybe not. Um, okay, yeah, I, th I think I've got the idea because yeah the um, target circle will be back over this direction and that means we'll have to contend with the fleas and the chocobos again but this is the target area so we got to make use of it okay oh two more over here All right. Well, since this flea wants to pay me a visit, I'll just slip on my dog collar and make an example out of it. Yeah, what are you doing? I ain't no dog. Yeah, I may have a tail like a dog, but I have ears like a cat. There you go. I am not your target of interest. I'm sorry if the tail is misleading you, but I am not what you think I am. Alright, you're dead. Alright. Let's get one. I did see another over here, and I saw a third back to the right. Right over here. But well, it looks like we may have to fight this wild chocobo. Uh-huh. Yeah, pretty much a no choice situation. So we're just gonna have to live with it. So you down a little. Just keep spearing you until we get you. In the air? Slap! And you're dead. Alright, one more Chandler's Wick. Mm. 
There we go. Okay, now it's Quinn. Is Quanta back at the... Yeah, she is pretty much back at Tail Feathers, so... Let's just warp right there. Yeah, it doesn't take that long to get back to where Quanta is. Okay, let's do this. So yeah, she's waiting for us where she was before. With Lupard, so... Yeah, it was the right thing to do. Say nothing, partner. Judging by your charming order, we already picked the mushrooms we need. But I have to give them to you officially. I yes, these are... My god, the stench is even worse up close! Here, I'll put them in my bag before the whole camp wretches. Alright, partner. Looks like I have the unenviable job of mixing these mushrooms with the Geisel greens. Say, why don't you tell me, Pard, what a good team we make? <laughs> Alright, Lupard. What of the seven hells she have you do? She's gonna mask your scent with that! Can't say anything about how wise that plan is, but it sure is interesting. As I'm sure you've gathered from the tailor and ears, Quanta's Mikote, just like Matthias is, and Hunton's in their blood. Could this be this plan might actually work? Any road, it seems you two will get along better than I could have hoped. Keep on with her, and I'll keep asking around for anyone like a partner. Alright. So we get some extra experience, so let's take on Lupar's next challenge. In level 52 entitled, A Natural Instinct. It looks like Lupard has some good news for you. Mathia, the whole camp's in a hubbub. Seems a lone chocobo's been sighted wandering around not too far south, waiting for a pair of hunters to come snatch it up. An easy target will make the perfect first hunt for Quanta. Now don't go thinking this bird will just walk right into your traps. Quanta's still as green as they come. Go with her and lend her a hand before she misses out on her first catch. Hi, hey, Quanta, you ready to go? You heard Lupard. What are you waiting for, partner? That chocobo is not going to catch itself. Ah, wait, before I forget. <sighs> this is the special mixture I made out of those mushrooms and some geysol greens. Fragrant, aren't they? The chocobo we're aiming to now has been sighted to the south, which means plenty of hunters that think they're clever set up traps there. Lucky for us, though, I thought one step ahead. You see, since so many hunters have been down south, this scent will be as plain to the bird as this mushroom is to us. Now, if I was a chocobo, I'd still see a wall clear of that place. I might be, even be I might even be inclined to take a slightly more dangerous route so as to not run into any hunters. Now, if my instincts are right, that chocobo will go right through Bandersnatch territory. That's why we got to set up our traps to the north. Brilliant idea, ain't it? But doesn't that seem opposite? What's that? Don't tell me you're scared of the big bad banner snatches. Just tread lightly and we'll both come back with a new chocobo. Here, let's divide up the greens and get to setting our traps. Once everything's set up, let's meet back at the hunter's camp to the north. Good luck, partner. Alright, and away she goes. And so, away we shall go. Northbound. Which means... Since we're at Tail Feather, that can only mean one thing. Running through this river again. It's, it seems like this river is the only way to leave Tail Feather through the north. And that it's the only way you can actually get there. So, let's make our way around. And um, while I'm recording this, I should make a point of this. Um, by the time this goes up, it will have been, like, four weeks or so after Father's Day has occurred, so, um, a belated Father's Day to any fathers who might be watching this video, and if you're the child of a father, which you should be, because <laughs> it's only biological sense, it's only biological logic, then wish your father a belated Happy Father's Day on my behalf, okay? Well, I'd appreciate that. Um, right, we're within the... Doesn't need the area. We have to go up to the top, because I do see a tree that can be used as a ramp. Oh, can we get up? Ah! Come on, try and climb. Try and climb. Ow! What? Seriously? Okay, yeah, it does. It looks like it's too steep at that point. Alright, so. Where is our point of interest? Oh, it's right over here. Okay. Yeah. Well, we did find it, so let's go put down these 
Geisel Greens. And report to Quanta. So she looks like she's around the other side, from the looks of it. I want to come out of hiding. Unless she's up top. And if that's the case, then... Ugh. Well, it doesn't look like I have to go too far to get up to her. Yeah, here she is. She's taken point up top. Hi, Quanta. What took you so long? I finished shutting up my trap hours ago. So is the guy still green in its place? Yes, it is. I knew I could count on my partner. I hope you didn't taste any because I put a little something extra in my guy saw greens. Sleeping powder! Once that choke will fall so my trap it'll fall into a deep sleep. Genius! Oh, did you hear that? Was that a chocobo cry? It was in the direction of your trap. Let's go, partner. Alright, lead on. Dreams are gonna kinda come back down here. And around the stone. This giant mass of rock outcropping. Oh, mission accomplished. Smart thinking, Quanta. Can you believe it? It's a genuine bonafide drossified chocobo. See, hunting's easy. Yeah, if you have the right stuff, of course. My plan worked perfectly. I'll take the chocobo back to Tailfeather. Partner, could you go and tell Lupard that I'm a real hunter now? Alright. Oops. No, I, I don't need my chocobo for this. I just need to um, warp back to Tailfeather. And yeah, I should make Tailfeather my home point for the time being, since it looks like we'll be coming back here quite a few times. I just hope she can lug the chocobo back and not destroy it too much or anything like that. Because that would be a bit of a tragedy if that was the case. Hi, Lupard. How are you and that Wally Mikote faring? Well, if you need to know. You don't say! Quanta actually bagged a bird? I ain't never seen a hunter get a chocobo on their first outing. I guess what they say about Mikote is true. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Can't leave you, the unsung hero, without a bit of a spirit of praise either. If things keep going this well, then we may not even need to find a partner. And so with that, we get the various level 52 experience and gill. Plus choice of various armor. I'll take these boots, but I don't need them because my gear that I'm currently wearing is already stronger than what I have just received. Yeah, it'll remain that way for a little while longer, then we're going to start to see level... Um, 130 gear and higher being implemented. So, let's speak with Lupard to take the next challenge. Entitled, First Impressions. Lupard has finally found a potential partner for Quanta. Word of Quanta's catch has been spreading around Tailfeather. Some say it's beginner's luck, but few have expressed interest in joining with her to see a Mikote hunt for themselves. I've taken the liberty of finding one I think might make a good match. He's a fresh-arrived hunter that goes by the name of Geisol. I'm thinking we should have a, a little trial hunt to see if he and our budding prodigy get along. Of course, I wouldn't be fool enough to let two greenhorns go out on a hunt unsupervised. That's why I need you to look after him. How about it? Are you keen to go out hunting with her again? Yeah, I believe I can do that for you. With any luck, she'll be off having adventures on, you know, on her own in no time at all. Anyway, I've seen her leave the encampment just a couple of bells ago, off to the southeast. If you can find her, tell her to return to camp so we can get the introduction started. Alright, southeast it is. Oh, but before I do, I'm going to change the home, Aetherite home point to Tail Feather. And then once we get down to the south where we can do Anix Trine quests, then we'll switch the home point over to Anix Trine. Alright, southeast we go. Yeah, so we're pretty much going back out towards where we found those Chandler's Wix mushrooms. That's awesome. Yeah, ho hopefully she doesn't become so good that she ends up getting in a spot that she's in over her head, because I'm thinking to myself, she may end up becoming a bit too cocky, um, having just started as a hunter, and that she might get herself into a situation that she's not comfortable with, and that she could end up in a whole bunch of trouble. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. 
then yeah, we're going pretty much exactly where the Chandler's Wix mushrooms were that we harvested. So once we get around this Earth Sprite, oh, someone's taking care of the fleas for me. Kumi Fuwa, thank you very much for your assistance. Well, that doesn't mean that we still are not trying to avoid stuff. And in fact, it looks like Quantum may even be um, down here after all. Okay. Where is our Mikote? Well, I'll have I'll have this tree to use as a reference point if, if I have to. Oh, that's not a. Okay, Quantum's over here. All right. Well, you're still standing up, right? That's good to see. Oh, partner, what brings you all the way out here? Any chocobo sightings I should know about? Well, actually... You mean Lupard found me a real partner? I wonder what kind of bow they use. Well, best to head back to Tailfeather to start my hunting career. I think you already have started it. But that's just my opinion. Right, return to Tailfeather. Yeah, let's see what this Skysol guy is all about. Okay, let's do this. Oh, um, no, wait. <laughs> yeah, remember, the new part is on the right side of the bridge, where you are. Okay, there's Skysol. Uh, it looks like the- oh, this is a female. Is this a female? I can't really tell. I think it is, maybe? It looks so downtrodden. Now that everyone's here, how about we all play nice and introduce ourselves? Gaisal's a shy bloke. Why don't we try striking up the conversation? Yeah, hello there. Well met. I'm Gaisal, like the Gaisal Green. I came to Tailfeather in hoping of, hopes of making my fortune, but I didn't expect dragons and bandersnatches. Um, you were coming into Dravanian territory. What were you expecting? <laughs> but I don't plan on going home empty-handed. With Quanta as my partner, we'll catch a chocobo that'll have those snobbyish guardians groveling at our feet. Right? <sighs> just when I thought I found a partner. Say, Mathia, how about lending us a hand just one more time? I think someone might need it. No, I don't think that's out of the question. That's what I wanted to hear. There might be some hope for us after all. While some other hunters were cowering in their small clothes, I've scattered a few places that are just chock full of chocobos. I've set up a few traps to the northwest of here. Scout your respective areas, and we'll meet back here to share our findings. Remember, a slow hunter is a poor hunter. Well, you're certainly not lacking for enthusiasm. Look out for chocobos with designated locations. They're all to the northeast, or no, northwest. Which means it's once again to I'm to take that legendary river crossing. Like, th this river crossing here is becoming a very iconic part of this area. Like, so, so many quests have started with us going underneath that little um, gate there and running through the river. Pretty mind-boggling when you think about it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> and thank you for distracting that Bandersnatch for me. I will be dealing with no Lion Kings today, please. Let Simba and Mufasa tend to their own affairs. Okay, so, where is our first area? Right over here. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a look. And it takes a while to survey it. Okay, let's go back. Go, let's go back over here. Okay, I. Every time I keep seeing water sprites, I think those are destination spots for me to look at. But no, those. That's not the case. But yeah, water sprites seem to do a really good job of distracting in that regard. And so that's two down. Now look for the third, and thankfully it's not that far. But no sign yet of Quanta or Geisal. So 
also check this area too. And Quanta is gonna be south of us. Back toward ugh, back towards the river. So let's make our way there right now. So we'll see what happens when Quanta and Geisel work together. Oh wait a minute. Are you serious? She went in this direction and never even bothered to... <laughs> well, I guess that means she finished her scouting of the area. That's the only thing that makes sense. Like, I was expecting to meet you out here in the field, not back at Tailfeather. Oh, but it looks like Geisel has not yet reunited with us. Yo, Bach! So how many chocos did we catch? None. My story's the same. Well, I guess I can't- I guess a hunt can't succeed every time. Any road, where in the Seven Hells is Geisel? I reckon he saw some dragons and ran off. <sighs> well, it's not as if we can wait here until the next Astral Era. Besides, he didn't look the type who could defend himself, and the last thing I need is some rookie hunter's- rookie hunter's blood on my hands. Let's go look for him, Mathia, before a Bandersnatch gobbles him up. He should be just to the east of the encampment. <sighs> God damn it, how hard is it to find a reliable hunter in a hunter's camp? Yeah, I, I think the that one catch is making her seem too aloof. I mean, your, your plan definitely worked brilliantly, don't get me wrong, but I'm worried that you might be giving the wrong impression here. And this was something that I did not that mo long ago in this episode discuss about that being a possibility and it looks like we're seeing that happen. So let's go ahead and see what we are going to be dealing with. Is Geisel still going to be alive by the time we get to him? Because, yeah, you heard Quanta, we don't want to have a rookie hunter's blood on our hands. So, hang in the left What? Where'd that flea come from? Really? Are oh, you serious, man? Yeah, fleas are numerous everywhere. Okay, Mr. Geisel. Where'd you end up? Are you beneath me? Yeah, you are. And what the heck did you come across? Oh, what? Crap, I, f I fell down. I fell down the wrong spot. That's not cool. That means I gotta run away from all chocobos. <laughs> ah, crap. Well, at least we found our bridge to get back to where we need to go. And it's right over here. So let's turn 180 and go up this tree. Good thing my chocobo is so well-footed and sure-footed. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna find our persons of interest down here after we fight off a wild chocobo. Sorry to do this to ya. Well, a hatchling? Uh oh. That, that'll make things interesting. I could be killing its mother as we speak. And that, could, that could be a bit bothersome. Yeah, there's a chocobo hatching right over there, and I could be killing its mother right now. And there it goes. Alright, let's speak with Geisel and his little chocobo of interest. Quanta, look at this! It's a chocobo hatchling! I wonder where its mother is! Uh, I don't know if you're paying attention, but I just killed it. Have you ever seen anything like it? Quanta, your instincts were right. You really are a born hunter. Let's take this back to Feather and show Lupard. What? That's just a hatchling. We can't expect to make any kill with that. Leave it here. But this one was separated from its mother. It's bound to starve or get eaten if we just leave it here. Yeah, plus you can raise a chocobo from scratch. That's why you have to care for it until it grows as hail as Ishgard's mightiest steeds. Aye, I think... 
I think hunting might not be in my nature. My mind is make made up. I'll work in the stables while I raise this hashling, and I'll have your hunting instincts to thank for helping me see my path, Quanta. Well, I've never been one to tell another how to live. I hope you're better at raising chocobos than you are at hunting them. Well, I... Well, I guess it's time to get back to Tailfeather. Guys, so I'll go with you to make sure that you don't fall prey to any beasts along the way. Yep. Take your newfound hatchling with you. Oh, sometimes it's nice to have a little sentimental scene like that. Kind of breaks up the monotony of always beating the crap out of stuff. Especially since I killed that poor little hatchling's mother. Yeah, I kind of feel bad. Well, we have to go speak with Lupari to complete the current challenge, so let's go ahead and do that. Geisel has told me he wants to raise Chocobos now. It's too bad hunting ain't his colon, but everyone here is free to make their own choices. Now about the hashing he brought along, generally we don't allow hunters to take eggs or chicks, since if we did, pretty soon the force would be nothing but bandersnatchers and dragons. But it looks like this one's lost its mother, and Geisel seems right out of it about Ah, But this one looks like it's lost its mother, and Geisel seems right adamant about raising it himself. So I think I can make an exception at this time. Thank you, Lupard. Quanta, Mathia, if not for you, my true calling would still be mystery. Though short, I am grateful for our time together. And so away he goes with his newfound prize. Well, it looks like Quanta's gonna have to wait a bit longer for her partner. I'll keep asking around. And so with that, we get another 26,400 experience, plus choice of various things that we can um, be possibly be equipped with. So, since Lupard has another challenge that he has for us, we'll go ahead and s deal with it with the next episode. Because, yeah, it could take a while before we can find Quanta a proper partner, so let's hope for the best and that we can get her the partner that she's looking for. So with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the continuation of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward. And when I join you again, we will see if we can and find, indeed find a partner for Quanta, and that they'll be able to succeed in finding many chocobos. So until next time everyone, this is Matthew at Novora Autism, saying take care, and I'll see you soon.